Nagaland has to take calculated and calibrated steps on relaxation, though fresh guidelines are expected from the Government of India, says Nagaland Chief Secretary Tamjin Toy. Centre issues state-wise division of red-green zones. All 11 districts of Nagaland have been placed in green zones. A total of 35,043 COVID-19 cases have been reported in the country. 8,889 patients have recovered after treatment and discharge from hospitals. 1,147 patients have died. Hello viewers, welcome to News and Trends. You are watching the Daily News Bulletin with me, KV Nurumi. Nagaland Chief Secretary Tim Jantoy has said that the Nagaland government wants to make movement of stranded people as seamless as possible. Speaking to the media yesterday, the Chief Secretary said for the past two weeks, the government has been working on returning citizens of the state and facilitating those who are stranded in Nagaland and want to go to their own respective states. Conceding that a nationwide lockdown has controlled the spread of the virus despite the spikes here and there, Toy informed that fresh guidelines are expected from the government of India. He said Nagaland has to take calculated and calibrated steps on relaxation. We have information of about 21,000 people who are living in other parts of the country. Some students, mostly uh, workers in uh, the different fields. You see, we don't want to have total chaos when they come. It's not that we don't want them to come. Obviously, they want to come back home and they want to be back home with their families. But we want to make it as seamless as possible, as least uh, inconvenient as possible. So uh, we have this empowered committee already in place. They have been functioning. They have been doing all their homework. And then uh, the latest uh, guidelines have come on quarantine of such people and we are minutely examining those guidelines. And uh, once that is ready, then we will be asking for, you know, people who want to come to come back home. Uh, as far as I can see now, coming from neighboring states, does not pose much of a problem in terms of logistics. The virus is here to stay with us. We have to be cautious, at the same time not panicking and taking extreme measures. So uh, we are in the process of working out uh, some uh, more relaxations, which uh, probably by uh, third or fourth, we are not going by the third guide, uh, deadline. It's not that up to third we are like this, then from fourth magic will happen and you know all kinds of things. It's not that. So maybe around the uh, fourth, maybe, fourth or fifth, uh, we will issue our own uh, guidelines and whatever uh, relaxation that uh, needs to be made. On concerns about the ambulances procured by the state government, which was launched by the Chief Minister on April 28th in Dimapur, the Chief Secretary affirmed that the vehicles are new. As long as we are clear in our minds and conscious, we go on regardless, the Chief Secretary said. Many people may say many things, mm. but then we are clear in our mind. I've seen the ambulances myself. Mm. They are brand new. Mm. In fact, uh, so uh, we do face a lot of criticism mm. from different, different angles. Mm. But, uh, as long as we are clear in our mind mm -hmm. and in our conscience, mm -hmm. we go on regardless. Yeah. As the second phase of lockdown nears its end, the Union Health Ministry has listed 130 districts across the country in the red zone, 284 in the orange zone and 319 in green zones based on incidences of cases of COVID-19 doubling rate, extent of testing, and surveillance feedback. This classification of districts is to be followed by the st states and union territories for a week post May 3 for containment operations. Metropolitan cities like Mumbai, Delhi, Kolkata, Hyderabad, Pune, Bengaluru, and Ahmedabad
have been designated as red zones in the new classification. A district qualifies for green zone if it doesn't have any confirmed cases or has not reported any case in 21 days. As of May 1, maximum number of districts under red zones are in Uttar Pradesh 19, followed by Maharashtra 14, Tamil Nadu 12, Delhi 11 and West Bengal 10. States with maximum number of districts in green zones are Assam 30, Arunachal Pradesh 25, Chhattisgarh 25, Madhya Pradesh 24, Odisha 21 and Uttar Pradesh 20. All 11 districts of Nagaland have been placed in green zones. A total of 35,043 COVID-19 cases have been reported in the country so far. As per Health Ministry, 8,889 patients have recovered after treatment and discharged from the hospitals, while 1,147 patients have died. Briefing media in New Delhi yesterday, a health ministry official said recovery rate has improved from 13.06% to above 25% in 14 days, which is a positive sign. The doubling rate of novel coronavirus is now 11 days compared to 3.4 days before lockdown. States whose doubling rate is better than the national average and is between 11 to 20 days are Delhi, Uttar Pradesh, Jammu and Kashmir, Odisha, Rajasthan, Tamil Nadu and Punjab. States whose doubling rate is between 20 to 40 days include Karnataka, Ladakh, Haryana, Uttarakhand and Kerala. The fatality rate is 3.2% and comorbidities was found in COVID-19 patients in 78% of the deaths. The United States has recorded more than 2,000 coronavirus deaths in 24-hour period for the third day running. This was reported by John Hopkins University in its latest real-time tally. The country hardest hit by the pandemic in terms of the number of fatalities recorded 2,053 deaths on Thursday after 2,502 deaths on Wednesday and 2,207 on Tuesday. At least 62,906 people have died in the United States till now according to the John Hopkins University. Let's now take you to Kohima where a briefing is being made by the state government on the status of COVID-19 in the state. Good evening. As on today, a total of 664 samples have been sent for testing from the state. The results of 650 samples have been received and all are negative. The results for 14 samples are awaited. Today, a total of 1,776 persons have been screened and a total of 29 persons are presently under facility quarantine. Today, Shri S. Pangnyu Pong, Honorable Minister of Health, Government of Nagaland, inaugurated the TrueNet machine for preliminary screening of samples at District Hospital Mukokchung. The TrueNet machines have been received from the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Government of India, for the districts of Mokokchung and Mon. The Honorable Minister also visited the COVID hospital at Mokokchung. The centre has announced the extension of lockdown for a further period of two weeks with effect from May 4, 2020. After a comprehensive review and in view of the lockdown measures having led to significant gains in the COVID-19 situation in the country, the Ministry of Home Affairs, Government of India has issued an order under the Disaster Management Act 2005 today to further extend the lockdown for a further period of two weeks beyond May 2020. The MHA also issued new guidelines to regulate different activities in this period based on the risk profiling of the districts of the country into red, hotspot, green and orange zones. The guidelines have permitted considerable relaxations in the districts following in the green and orange zones. The Directorate of School Education through Doodashan Kendra Kohima commenced telecasts of video lessons on important subjects in classes 8, 9, 10 and 12 beginning today. This was done to compensate the loss of instructional days caused due to the ongoing lockdown. The lessons will also be broadcasted through All India Radio AR, AR Kohima from tomorrow. 
According to school education department officials, the broadcast schedule is made in such a way that only two classes will be having the lessons on a particular day, so that children will not group in large numbers in schools, village council halls where the telecasting is viewed. And we will be talking about a lesson from class 9 English. So today our topic is called the Echoing Green. I'm sure most of you are familiar with these two words. Maybe some of you have this green color as your favorite color. And maybe I'm sure you also know the word echo. In an effort to promote local business through ag agri and farm products, the Business Association of Nagas Ban has taken the initiative of buying and selling of local agri products in the market, which otherwise had been hit hard by the lockdown. Bank President Vito Zhao said that the association took up the initiative to help the local farmers sell off the produce in Dimapur's wholesale market. He said the association members visited vegetable villages around Dimapur, Kohima and Woka districts after obtaining permission from the district administrations and bought the local vegetables from the farmers. The association members felt that the importance of community markets, especially in metropolitan city like Dimapur, and has sought support from the government in setting up marketing sheds in strategic locations identified by the association. The bank president said the business, which had begun barely a month ago, has brought enough dividends to both the farmers as well as the buyers. Vendors. We are trying to promote our local people so that they come into this uh, business with dignity. So in the last uh, 20 to 25 days, we have made a rough calculation amounting to 5 to 5.50 lakhs. Our local people have profited through our venture. But our local producers are mostly organic, the natural way of farming. And they are a little costly because of all the transportation costs and uh, the labor costs that is incurred by them. So if the government can assist and help our local farmers in all these logistics, giving them a proper avenue uh, to sell their producers at a good rate, then uh, we see that the future will, uh, will bloom even for our local farmers. And with that, we come to the end of this bulletin. Do subscribe to us on the YouTube channel and also follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Do stay tuned as we try to bring you lots more of these news and updates through this medium. Meanwhile, we request you to take cognizance of all the directives issued by the government from time to time to contain the pandemic. Stay home and stay safe. From all of us here, it's bye for now and thanks for watching.